everybody, my name is Ronan, and welcome back to another Transformers review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the newer Deluxe Class 3 Series figures from the Bumblebee movie line. Uh, and to just get right into it, let's just go ahead and meet Studio Series Bumblebee movie Deluxe Class Ironhide. Now, Ironhide here is one of the recent Deluxe Class figures in the Bumblebee movie lineup. A very faithful rendition of the Nightverse edition of Ironhide. Looking great. With a bunch of details, bunch of colors, and interesting posability as well. Now, let's get straight into just the paint applications on this guy. If we look at the face sculpt right here. Very nice, very uncannily humanoid, but also robotic, so that fits the Cybertronian mold pretty well. Uh, we got some really nice colors going on here. If my camera wants to focus, and we got some nice molded gray, painted grays. They're very light though, and then we have some shinier grays. We have a darker uh, gunmetal gray here. On the legs, we have these fake wheels that are painted in gunmetal. We have little paint applications along the feet and on the inside and on the arms where we see a lot of this gun metal gray. He is an interesting figure. Sadly, with my copy, the QC is really mad for the legs, so he can barely stand up on his own. He can, but I can't get him into super dynamic poses as of yet. But talking about posing, posability on this guy, so he can look around, look up that high, down that far. He's got elbows or shoulders, my bad, that go out, they rotate. A uh, little bit, a little bit impeded by this hinge here, but it doesn't really do much. Got a swivel at the bicep and a 90 degree bend at the arm. Same on the other side, we have a waist swivel that goes all the way around, we have that which includes a kick and a kick back and a kick out. He's got the thigh swivel. He's got a 90 degree, roughly over 90 degree bend at the knee, as well as very limited ankle articulation. I don't know why they did that to him, very limited. But he's got toe down and a little bit of, well, more so foot down and a little bit of foot up. Now he does come with one accessory which is his gun here. Very nice gun, if it wants to focus, there we go. Very nice. Can't really pick out the details that much, but it is casted in black plastic. It has a port at the front of it. I don't think that that's five millimeter. It, I believe that that's bigger than three millimeters. I don't know what's supposed to go in there. And it also has this tab for weapon storage. There is a little hole there and that can tab in like that and it doesn't look that bad now let's get some let's get some height comparisons here shall we with all these deluxe class figures here's we have wheeljack we got b127 we got the deluxe class brawn very good figure we got a ko of the studio series bumblebee movie prime Voyager class Bumblebee Soundwave. And last but not least, Bumblebee movie Voyager class Thrust. They look very nice together. I also have the GPB, but I will not be including this in this size comparison. Now let's just let's just get on with his transformation. Transformation in a vehicle mode is kind of annoying at first. This part is annoying. This part is simple. The front half is very annoying to do if you can't understand the instructions. It took me maybe 10 minutes to understand the instructions because the instructions were so unclear about what you had to do. There were so many, there was so much rotating and flipping that it got very, very confusing. The back half, very simple. And it cleans up very well. If you look at the bottom here, 
His arms go there, his feet are tucked away in there, and his head is just right there. But everything is covered up. Is There's no hollowness in the vehicle mode besides a little bit on the bottom. But other than that, he becomes very, very small. And weapon storage, there is this port on the back, or on the top actually, and he will rest, in, the gun will rest in there. And it looks pretty good with the gun on it, if I do say so. And so now we get to see some new colors of this golden yellow uh, stripe on the side here. We see this plastic, this uh, painted plastic more on the shoulders. Uh, now let's actually get a look at the chest window. You see, this is just his chest, but the window looks really nice. A very deep blue plastic. And the red is very nice. There's all these little details that you can see around him. And he just turned out very nice. And the gun doesn't look off. It looks pretty good sitting on top of this kind of vehicle as well. So let's get into some size comparisons of the vehicle mode. So he becomes just as small as the other Deluxe class figures, especially like Braun being a very small one. He, he's just a little bit longer than Braun. He's just a little bit longer than Braun. And Wheeljack is actually a little bit longer than he is. Which is really funny. So, my final thoughts on the figure. It's okay. As a deluxe class figure, it's pretty good. And he fits really well within my Bumblebee collection. But I just can't help but feel a little bit let down by him. There was a lot of hype behind this mold, and just from what I've experienced, it's not the greatest mold. So I'll give it a 5 out of 10, or no, I'll give it a 6 out of 10, just to be generous. Only get it if you really want a Knight vs. Ironhide in your collection. If not, just go for Ratchet.